Bonjour with FrenchSpanishOnline.com we are going to see in this lesson the difference between alors and alors que in French. Of course you know now alors because we saw it in a previous lesson but we are going to see again the difference between the two expressions. Alors means then in English. However alors que got a different meaning means while or when. Let's take now some examples to see what is the difference between the, these two expressions. Knowing that alors que becomes alors que with the apostrophe when it is before a voile, for example here, alors qu'il est fatigué. Let's start with the word alors. Il est arrivé, alors je suis parti. He arrived, then I left. So here, then means at that time, at the moment, or just after. Il est arrivé, alors je suis parti. Si tu sais nager, alors tu peux aller à la piscine avec nous. If you can swim, then you can go with us to the swimming pool. So then, here, as a the consequence, you can go with us because you can swim, okay? Don't forget that when we have thing related with uh, uh, learning, in French we use the verb to know, and in English, can. You can swim, tu sais nager. Il était alors en vacances. He was then on holidays. So here then, the meaning is at that time. So, he was at that time on holidays. And in French, the same word then is alors. Il était alors en vacances. And don't forget here the liaison between the last T of the verb était and the voil. Il était alors en vacances. We also have this expression with the D apostrophe, d'alors, when we want to say here the then president, the president at that time. In French, le président d'alors. You can use it for people, for things, for example, the method. If you want to say the then meth method you use at that time, so in French you will say la méthode d'alors. Let's see now some expressions, some colloquial expressions we have with the word alors. Here, for example, ça alors, to say my goodness. So it's a surprise. Ça alors. If you want to say so what? In French you will say et alors? So what? Et alors? Ou alors means here or else. So we translate else with alors. If you want to say this sentence, he is ill or else he is tired. In French, il est malade ou alors il est fatigué. So we don't translate else with the usual French word, but here we use alors. Il est malade ou alors il est fatigué. Instead of saying ça alors, you can also say alors ça. Alors ça pour une surprise. Here it's a bit difficult here to translate alors ça in English. You can say what a surprise. Of course you know that what a surprise in French is just quelle surprise. But as we can't really translate these uh, two words, it's uh, a nice translation too. Alors ça, pour une surprise. Also, we like to say, eh bien, alors ça, pour une surprise, or eh bien, ça, alors, pour une surprise. To say the same thing, actually, what a surprise. Eh bien, ça, alors. Let's see now the expression, alors que. Il est arrivé alors que je partais. So, we have a, a similar example as before, but this time with the expression alors que. And here, the translation is, he arrived while I was leaving. It's not then I left, no. While I was leaving, alors que. Il est venu alors qu'il pleuvait. So, here we have the apostrophe, because we have our voile with the pronoun il, and alors que here is the translation of even though. He went even though it was raining. Il est venu alors qu'il pleuvait. 
j'ai travaillé avec elle alors qu'elle n'était pas connue. I worked with her when she was nobody. Here we translate alors que with when j'ai travaillé avec elle alors qu'elle n'était pas connue. Let's see now one expression using alors que. C'est alors que, etc., etc. The meaning of this expression we use at the beginning of a sentence is and then, etc., etc. For example, you are speaking about, uh, you are narrating the story and you say, well, and then he arrived. So in French, c'est alors qu'il est arrivé. So here you mean, they said at this moment that he arrived. And then he arrived. And we have the expression, c'est alors que. Well, now I think it's, uh, it's going to help you to make the difference between uh, alors and alors que. C'est fini. Of course, if you want to read the script of this lesson, you can go to frenchspanishonline.com. You will find more lessons, always free. And if you want to drop me a line or to send me uh, some commentaries, and if you want more lessons, of course, here I am. So, see you next time. Au revoir.